Hey everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world. I've got my Vivor smelting furnace out today and everything I need including my gold panning kit, a screen and a pan and a shovel. And the reason is I'm going to make my own casting sand. Uh, my first time ever I'm going to melt some aluminum. And my first time ever, I'm going to make my own molds using sand from my own property. I've got to filter it out and, and screen it to the finest stuff I can get so that it works well. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use, what I'm going to melt. This old ladder is bent up really, really bad beyond usefulness. And it's not even useful for my Alaskan sawmill, which I had... Uh, originally hoped when I got it. So this today is going to be broken down into pieces and melted and poured into a mold. Make something useful out of it. Right now I'm going to cut this one side of this ladder off and then I'm going to cut it up into pieces and melt it. Hopefully that'll give me enough for two flywheels. Now I'm going to cut this piece, this thing up into smaller pieces to fit the furnace. Over here I've been preheating the crucible slowly. I'm just slowly, slowly, slowly bringing it up to heat to burn off any moisture. Um, what I read is for longer life of the crucible and actually the cement inside the stove, you want to really slowly bring it up to temperature all the time. I have to put heat shielding, not heat shielding, I have to put wind blockers out here. Any breeze blows that flame out on me, which is a bummer. And I don't have a shed for this right now. So. Anyway, I've got one piece in there. I was trying it out for size and I got a handful here. I'm gonna drop them in. And then I'm gonna start bringing this up to temperature. There's stuff on that starting to glow. No idea what that is. But uh, I wanna get these pieces in there. These tongues need to be broke in a bit. They're tight. So I'm going to get some pieces in there and get started. It's not very much room. And then I'll bring this up to temperature. And then we can start melting some metal. Do you let them start to melt? Can I see it in there? It's starting to lose its form. I can probably pop some more in there now. I saw it collapsed. Oh yeah, that's softening up really nicely in there. Problem here. I'm gonna have to work on these tongs. These tongs are not easy to work with there. That'll get me there. It's melting. Time to put some more in. I can
Oh, that's weird. Burning the wood. There's too much water in the mold, I think. Yeah. I think there's too much moisture in the mold. It boiled. That is weird. Let's get a close up. Isn't that weird? So I'm not sure what we got here. That's interesting. I hear a boiling sound here. I'm gonna let them sit a minute, and then we're gonna quench them. It burned a spoon. See if these will come out. Nice. Woo! That is so cool. All right, let's break these out of the mold. Oh no, 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 it's all for nothing, it boiled. Oh, it's horrible. My first cast ever is a flop. Here's it nice. boiled. Yeah, that one's wrecked too. They boiled. Bummer. Well, let's have some boiling fun over here. Well, that was less dramatic as the other one. That went pretty quick. Well, they're quenched. Well, I got some nice um, cupcake castings, muffin castings. Really hot. These turned out beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My muffin castings. Not a flaw in that at all. Look at how perfectly smooth the bottoms are in that. Not a flaw at all in them. A little bit of dip in the middle, but not too bad really, not too bad at all. Those are perfect, absolutely perfect. These here, these here did not turn out. That's a bummer, that is no good at all. So the next step is I'm going to have to buy some real casting sand. Um, I think what happened is the moisture content was too high, but it did hold the ridge pattern beautifully. So my molding process was good. I had a very, very good form. It just bo boiled out the water and ruined my, my aluminum. So... I know for next time I'm going to buy the right stuff, so much for trying to save money, but it actually would have turned out absolutely perfect though. I'm, I'm pretty sure that would have been a very, very good mold. So that just means I have another video to make very soon. As soon as uh, Amazon gets me some sand, please do like this video. Subscribe if you haven't because there is absolutely more of this exciting stuff to come and a lot more other cool things. Well, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself world. Got 
Some beautiful, some not so beautiful. We'll talk to you later.